Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna go over to the other farm and put some of these implements away. So we got the harrow to put away, the disc, the field cultivator, and the seed drill. We'll put those away, and then we'll come back and we'll start working on the rotary hoe because that corn, I don't know if you can see it, but that corn, it's getting big. It's about that tall, so it's time to rotary hoe. And we wanna keep the weeds down so the corn gets a chance to grow. Then once the corn is bigger than the weeds, it'll start shadowing the weeds out. So we gotta get that rotary hoe going so we can get those weeds plucked out. and the batwing mower back to the home farm just so we can put it away so it's not sitting at that shed so just so it's at the home farm and then dad's gonna come home with a truck he should be behind me anytime so he'll just bring the truck home this is the tractor that we replaced that motor in like we split the tractor and completely went through it and put a brand new motor or a reman motor in it if you want to watch that video of us working on this tractor tap that right up there that icon and I'll take you right to that video of us working on this tractor. A little bit pull out don't go but about an inch I'm all the way off the brake. okay go a, go a little bit farther oh oh, oh, oh back up okay that one's done go back up a little bit hold it back up Okay guys, so it's the next day and dad did not, or he rotary, he did rotary hoe, but he only rotary hoed a few rounds, but then he had to stop because he got a flat tire on the rotary hoe. It's just the gauge wheel that keeps the rotary hoe from going too far into the ground. It just keeps it right at the right height. That got a flat tire, so it was digging into the ground on one side. It was digging in too far. So dad couldn't keep rotary hoeing. He had to wait, he had to get a new tire and then he got it this morning and now he's rotary hoeing again. So I'm gonna go get some footage of rotary hoeing.
Well guys, I hope you found this video interesting because I know that I think rotary hoeing is really interesting and you don't see very much of it anymore since it's just not very popular and many people don't use it for weed control anymore. On very rare occasions, people will use it to break the crust on top so the crop can emerge if the ground, on, if the dirt on top is really hard. But otherwise, it's just not popular anymore. And this will probably be the only rotary hoeing video I make since I'm not going to be running the rotary hoe. And if I'm not running the rotary hoe, then I'm not going to get very much footage other than like I just got like from the outside of the tractor. And that's pretty boring. I mean. You guys aren't going to want to watch three or four videos of that, so this will probably be the only rotary hoeing video. But this is the end of this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did enjoy it, give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe right down below. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.